Hello, and welcome to another Light Reading Telecom Innovator video. My name is Phil Harvey. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Light Reading. And joining me today is a guest from Amdocs, the Director of Network and OSS Marketing for Amdocs, Jose Carlos Mendez. Jose, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. A pleasure to be here. It's great to, uh, for you to make time for this because we're talking about, um, you know, kind of the network evolution and revolution of telecom service providers. And of course, um, boy, that opens up a ton of topics, but we're going to keep it sort of focused on how their network uh, is changing technically. Um, you, I mean, it's it's pretty easy to say that our network, that, that the telecom network and the industry at large is going through a revolution. Um, they're, you know, going into these areas uh, that are where the technology is very new to them, uh, disaggregation, hybrid cloud, um, and then they're getting their networks to become more programmable. So that necessitates automation and, you know, kind of a different way of thinking about how to deliver services. So with all of this happening in this kind of tech revolution, um, what do you see as some of the main challenges that uh, uh, communication service providers are facing at the moment? Yes, great question. I mean, you, you just mentioned one of those challenges, right? Which is the network evolution and how to cope with it. It's, um, you know, it's great because it's introducing new capabilities in the network that you can leverage in new services, new differentiated services, but that's also introducing a lot of complexity that they need to manage, right? So the network is now not self-contained. Sometimes it's distributed, you know, disaggregated, uh, even crossing um, uh, through private and public clouds. So that's a lot of complexity. Now, you know, think of it, one of the reasons they, they are doing this is to be able to offer new services with which to, you know, cash new revenue. Um, and, and, and basically, you know, they need to do all of this while they control costs, because as we all know, revenue is, is, is still flat, okay? The promises of 5G and, and, and other ways to gain uh, new revenue through adjacent, you know, um, adjacent economies like, uh, you know, financials, uh, TV, etc., has not uh, realized. So they are actually some of them are divesting from those. So it's it's uh, you know lots of challenges coming from different directions. The, the CSPs really are in a difficult position these days. Yeah, it's interesting because the the traffic on their network continues to increase. The um, you know the the consumer the end consumer is not going to pay that much more for basic connectivity than they're already paying. And so that puts them in this bind of how do we add more, either more value to the connection or more value to the entire experience of being connected to their network. And I think that's where, you know, uh, more innovative companies like Amdocs are trying to um, guide them along that path. And then at the same time, simplify all the stuff that they were doing um, that maybe took too many steps or too much money in the process, which brings me to um, <laughs> automation. So um, let's get into, uh, you know, two questions here. How, how can automation help uh, communication service providers? And then what are some of the key characteristics that automation must have to be successful? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, if we think about all of those challenges that we just numbered, um, automation, you know, is certainly uh, the the only way in which they can they they can address these challenges. I mean, you can think of it as a gap has opened between the complexity of the network and the simplicity that the customers expect, and someone has to fill that gap, right? And that gap it's it's to be filled by automation. Um, yet uh, automation is not new, right? It's been around for a while, but it's been um, introduced uh, gradually. Like you know, if we think of the six levels of automation defined by TM Forum. Most CSPs are at levels two and three. You know, if you really want to uh, harness the complexity that is introduced and deliver these differentiated services in an agile tailored way, you need to increase that level of automation, right? So it's clearly um, a, a request. But as I was saying, you know, automation is not new. What's new is that we have now a new wave of automation, one that we, we say it's intent driven. So it's basically more dynamic, it's more automated, it's more intelligent. It blends in together fulfillment and assurance processes so that you know when you fulfill a service, it's not a fire and forget, 
is something that you constantly monitor so that you are delivering the experience for which the customer is paying. So it's, um, yeah, automation is definitely, uh, it, you know, the solution to both address, you know, the, 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 the cost, the controlling cost, the complexity of the network and also increase revenue through the offering of differentiated services. Yeah, great point. Um, so what areas do you see as being um, the primary ones where CSPs need to invest um, in order to advance their automation journey? Because we know this, I, I say journey because, you know, with networks this large, you know, with so many endpoints, these sorts of um, changes just can't happen overnight. So, so what areas should they be investing in first? Yes. Um, so basically, um, you know, automation depends on, on, on several aspects to be implemented successfully. We have run a research um, with STL partners, uh, you know, talking with several CSPs and basically identified like four pillars for network transformation and automation. First pillar being data and AI, you know, ultimately if you want to automate, you need data, right? You need data and you need AI to learn from that data. So as we say, you know, data is the oil for automation. It powers automation. Then there is cloudification. Okay, it's taking your network from you know being physical, monolithic, you know, a single vendor, into something which is cloudified, which is softwareized, which you can interface with uh, open standards APIs. Something that it's easier to manage. Um, then there's automation itself. Okay, implementing automation where you start from domain specific or process specific and you grow into an end-to-end -end automation because you know services. Differentiated services are end-to-end. -end. You cannot just uh, apply automation per silo. And then the last one is really exposure, which is where you start to really uh, gaining you know, the benefits of all the work you have done. It's basically exposure internally because you can expose network services. Uh, you can treat them almost as building blocks that you can automate altogether, but also exposure internally, externally Okay, because you want to be able to expose network services uh, to partners, to uh, you know, um, to developers, so that they can use your network capabilities to create new products from which you can gain your revenue. So here, you know, we clearly see how automation is not only about efficiencies, productivity, and reducing costs, but it's also about generating new revenue. Um, so now let's talk about Amdocs because this is a telecom innovator video. So we need to kind of dig into what is Amdocs's role in all of this. Um, so how is Amdocs supporting CSPs as their um, as their automation needs are becoming more apparent? Yes. Well, um, you know, at Amdocs we are combining basically innovative solutions that we are uh, developing and also acquiring. Like you know, recently. We acquired the uh, service assurance assets uh, from, uh, sorry, service assurance business from Tioco, Helix Service Assurance Suite. Um, and basically, we're combining that with our expertise. So we've been, you know, in this uh, automation market for over 20 years, done a lot of projects, and we actually have implemented very high levels of automation for mass, mass market type of services. Think of broadband, of mobile, right? We have customers in the US, you know, achieving 90% of automation. But, you know, this time, what we're saying is that this is a new wave of automation. We have new networks, we have new demands, so we have to implement this new innovative way of automation. So what we have done is basically augment our intelligent networking suite solution with the acquired assets from uh, you know, a Helix Service Assurance Suite, uh, and basically combining them, we now are able to close the loop. So we can close the loop of operations, connecting service delivery, fulfillment, and assurance to deliver permanently the SLA. Now, you know, if you think of this closed loop that we're powering with AI, so AI and machine learning, which are there deployed, you know, patented solutions that we have and are delivering already, um, you know, fruits to CSPs. Uh, we are augmenting that even more now with Gen AI. So we have launched the Amaze framework, which is a telco grade generative AI platform. And we are connecting that and embedding that with our uh, intelligent networking suite, basically bringing with it uh, a next generation automation suite that can cater with the complexities of the new networks and close this gap with the you know the business intent, what customers ultimately want. I think this is great, but I think the best way to sort of um, make it real for people is to share some experiences that you've had, you know, with 
um, with specific customers. Um, you know, can you can you share a couple of instances that um, you know where Amdocs has supported uh, the automation needs of its of its customers? Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we have several. I mean, we have a large list of, of uh, re references, but. I'm going to pick just a few, you know, that that address needs of these uh, new dynamic networks that we're talking about. So I can start with Vodafone Zigo, for instance. Vodafone Zigo, you know, is basically softwareizing the network, softwareizing their operations, moving, you know, into this uh, digital uh, era. And basically, they needed a layer that abstracted, you know, the complexity of the network from their digital and BSS layer. This is what you know. Many people in the industry call network as a service, and uh, they implemented um, their network as a service using Amdocs technology, our end-to-end -end service orchestration. That's basically uh, abstracting the complexity and following kind of a building block approach, where you can expose network services that can then be recombined on the digital layer, so that you can reduce the time to market, you know, and the cost to basically roll out and deliver new services. So that's you know one of the, the the examples there where we are mainly addressing B two B line of business. Uh, other examples also you know uh, trendy these days is five uh, G slicing. Five G slicing you know requiring five G standalone. I mean five G is probably uh, was overhyped for a while, but we see now really you know five five G standalone deployment starting to 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 accelerate. Uh, we've done numerous. Proof of concept on 5G slicing, you know, with um, tier one operators in North America or in Europe, like A1 Telecom Austria, where we demonstrated the value of automation to manage, you know, dynamic slices, basically manage end to end, you know, from the run to the core, uh, this, the, the activities required to fulfill a slice, and also across multiple clouds. Okay, and. Um, I would say um, just another example related to 5G since we're since we are talking is is Oran, you know, Open Run. We also have seen you know news about Open Run, like uh, you know Vodafone planning to roll out 2,500 you know Oran sites. Um, so basically, uh, we are also working with Vodafone on um, proof of concept to demonstrate the value of the service management and orchestration um, piece, so that you can achieve you know distributed zero touch deployment of this uh, ORAN infrastructure. And um, just to close this, this, this list and to give you, you know, a flavor of, of, of different type of solutions, there is one around exposure. So I was mentioning exposure before. Um, we participated in a telemanagement forum catalyst program um, uh, last year uh, called Shine, where we were demonstrating how uh, CSPs like AT&T, Telefonica and Orange can expose um, APIs, you know, into marketplaces, a marketplace which can be, you know, in this case it was from Azure, but it could be from their own, to basically allow partners and developers to use these APIs to develop new services and hence uh, bring new revenue. So these are, for example, sorry for the lengthy answer, but I think they, they give a very good example of how, you know, automation can help in different areas. Yeah, I think that, I think it was a great answer because in each case, you know, the network's becoming more dynamic and, and less of a static thing. The services that are needed at the other end of that network are becoming increasingly sophisticated and Amdocs is trying to help, you know, the operator in each case um, manage the complexity that's inherent in, you know, combining multiple technologies and multiple methods of connection. And, you know, not only simplify it, but also automate it, you know, get, make, make it so that um, so that nothing is standing in their way when it comes to, um, you know, them having a market need, being able to address the market need. And then, of course, being able to collect revenue off off the back of that. Um, any uh, any any final thoughts? I think I think we've we've covered the topic quite well. Thank you, Phil. I really enjoyed it. Thanks. And just, you know, to close is, um, you know, MWC is just around the corner. Uh, just telling everyone we'll be there if you want to see, you know, our automation solutions in actions, you know, don't hesitate to to visit our booth. Yeah, that's a great, uh, great invitation. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll look forward to that. Um, Jose Carlos Mendez, thank you so much for uh, taking the time and thanks uh, to Amdocs for uh, uh, for for backing this uh, telecom innovator video. We appreciate it. Thank you, Phil. I really enjoyed it. Thanks.